Raytheon Intelligence and Space's next generation jammer mid band flew on an EA 18G Growler its first flight test on the aircraft. The U.S. Navy's NGJMB is an advanced electronic attack system that denies, disrupts, and degrades enemy technology, including communication tools and air defense systems. After hundreds of hours of successful ground and chamber testing, the first flight took place on August 7, 2020, at the Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland meeting all objectives. Future mission systems flight testing will demonstrate weapons system control, power generation, and electromagnetic compatibility between JAMA and aircraft, as well as the performance of NGJMB's high-capacity digital waveform generation and active electronically scanned arrays in flight against a variety of targets. Data from these flight tests on the Growler will inform Milestone C the Navy's decision to start NGJMB production. The flight follows more than 600 hours of ground testing of engineering development model, or EDM, pods. At the Naval Air Station's Patuxent River and at Point Mugu in California, EDM pods underwent anechoic chamber testing a special facility designed to absorb electromagnetic waves to measure the jammer's radio frequency power and beam steering capabilities. In addition to mission systems testing, the program is expected to begin aeromechanical flight testing shortly to assess aircraft flying qualities and performance, following previously completed ground vibration, static load, and wind tunnel testing. These tests will also evaluate the effects of the airflow environment on the pod, as well as noise and vibration behavior. To date, Reindes has delivered 10 EDM pods, 6 mission systems pods and 4 aeromechanical pods. A total of 28 pods will be delivered under the EMD contract.